Now, if we're at Knightsbridge Station, it can only mean one thing. Yes, it's time for a trip to Harrods. So, let's walk along the platform, leave here and get into Harrods. And more specifically, let's go visit the food hall. From the underground, getting to Harrods couldn't be easier. It's signposted all over and the exit is right by the front door of Harrods. But today, by request, we are going into the food area. The food market has got three sections. There is a fourth section, but that's a dining area. So we're gonna show you around and show you what they've got on offer. And here, like any good supermarket, you've got the whole rack of fresh fruit and veg. Although I would add, at Harrods prices. Now coming to Harrods, I always find is a special treat. It's for a couple of reasons. One is just to see what they've got on offer because it's absolutely incredible the selection of things that you can buy. And two, people watching. Yes, watching the normal customers of Harrods come and go and see what they're buying. A quick hands up if you'd heard of Kaleido before, because I certainly hadn't. And to me, these just look like sort of posh wraps, vegetarian style -y. Oh well, I am uncouth. But at least it's good to see you've got the firm favourites like the salad baguette. Here you've got the deli section. Guess it's the French version of the word charcuterie. See what I did there? And as it's Harrods, it's only the best of the best. Here on the left hand side in the beige is ham shoulder. Now. You've got different size packets, but look at this gift box. Yes, that's gonna be one heck of a gift for 400 pounds. And if you thought that one was expensive, this one at the bottom here is 900 pounds. Just in case you're thinking of getting me an early Christmas present, don't worry about that. You can get something else, honestly. As you'd expect from Harrods, the presentation is fantastic and you've got all different sorts of foods, including these big bowls of salad of all different types and varieties. Now that's a combination grilled aubergine with saffron yogurt. They are, it's true to say they've got something for everyone. So you've got your salads, you've got your Asian cuisine, and then if you don't fancy that, you can even go to your Italian cuisine. And by the way, before anyone asks, no, I didn't see a sign for Just Eat, Deliveroo or any other shopping delivery service. Now, if that hasn't whetted your appetite, how about a dessert or five? Yes, these are creme brulees and look at the distinctive H chocolate button on the top. With their own butcher on hand, as you can see, he's making up a rack of lamb. You can get pretty much done what you fancy. And here they are, as made. We go from meat to the dairy. And here, if you're a cheese fiend, this is your section of Harrods Food Hall. So now whilst you're all reaching for the crackers and a lump of cheese, let's move on from the cheese section to a oh, few more desserts, but also some of these pastries, which are all handmade. With prices at about eight or nine pounds for each one. Yep, you're gonna be, gonna be pretty certain that you're gonna enjoy it. Now, if you've got a celebration coming up and you don't want some of the little small cakes to celebrate, why not buy your own big cake? You can buy it by the slice, or as you can see here, the whole thing there, 70 pounds. If like me, you're loving the taste of this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. It helps us to spread the video more on YouTube to other people so they can love London as well. 
Now, if you're coming to Harrods and you think, I've got to get someone a souvenir, this is definitely the area to come. Yes, sort of the biscuit area, but with the Harrods own tins. So definitely worth coming here and you can grab your biscuits to take back home. I've been here a few times, but I'm always discovering something new. And something I discovered this time is, if you don't want to buy your own bottle of olive oil, why not have it direct from the press? This is the tea and coffee area, and we'll come back for the coffee in a couple of seconds. But you can get your own blend done here, which is something very similar to what they do also over at Fortnum & Mason. And I've put a link to the video in the food hall at Fortnum & Mason up in the top right hand corner for you, so you can see that there as well. Now, I love the bakery section here at Harrods because not only can you get your normal bread, etc., but if you want a loaf like this, and as you can see, it's got the Harrods H on it, you can have it substituted with your own letter. Yes, you pay a little bit extra, but they will put your letter, your initial on there of your choice. How posh is that? And if you really want fresh bread, that is a timetable of when the bread is coming out of the oven, so you can be there to take it away, whisk it away as soon as it comes out of the oven. I don't know if they give you oven gloves or not, but anyway, there you go. Here you've got a coffee bar, but it's always packed, so just bear that in mind. Now this is brilliant. This is the coffee bean area where you can have your coffee blended, you can have it roasted, you can they'll do anything for you here. Um, and actually we got three different samples of different types of coffee and oh my word, they were delicious. Uh, by the way, they're not these. These are the most expensive coffees in the world. And yes, that's 1,400 pounds. And this is 2,000 pounds, the most expensive coffee bean in the world. And before you ask, no, we went for Parisian and Italian, which was dirt cheap, but tasted gorgeous. And let's give you a view so you get an idea of the style of the food hall here at Harrods. So this is the bakery tea coffee area, and let's go back into the deli area, and that's what that looks like. And as you can see, it's always busy here. Now, that's two different parts of the food hall. Let's go to the third and final one. And yes, welcome to the chocolate hall. A whole hall full of chocolate. Wow! I'm not sure if it's me, but that lady doesn't look overly impressed with being in the chocolate hall. Nothing says love more than a heart full of chocolates and a broken bank balance. But anyway, don't they look good? Here across the chocolate department, you've got lots of different counters where you can choose your different chocolates to go in the box of your choice. So yeah, if you like your fudge or something like that, then you can actually make it top heavy on that. Wow, what a way to go. Now, if you just want something pre-packed, there's plenty of that around the food hall as well, so there's no problem with that. But if you don't want something, you want something a bit more rough and ready, how about this? Buy a slab of your favorite type of chocolate. Yes, buy the slab, wow. Now let me share a little secret with you. You're gonna to wanna to come into this section whether you eat chocolates or not, because not only do they look fantastic, the smell is incredible, but also you've got a section here where they make the chocolates for Harrods here. So you can watch them making the chocolates, which they then serve like this. And then you can select and this lady will pick a nice box of chocolates for you and then wrap them nicely. They look almost too good to eat. They almost look like marbles, don't they? Sort of glass effect on the top of them. Here we're back at the slabs of chocolate where you can just buy a big chunk of it, put it in your bag and just nibble away to your heart's content. At Harrods prices, of course. Right, the big question. We've been around the food hall. What was your favorite part? 
Let us know in the comments down below. It'd be really interesting to see. And what do you think about Harrods Food Hall in comparison to the Fortnum and Mason one? We, we put the link earlier. Do let us know. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you love this and you love to see how people shop in luxury, then I've put a link to the video that we've done, which is a walk around West Mayfair, which covers some of the shops around Barclay Square, etc. And uh, believe you me, we've got some amazing shops to show you there. So if you see you in that video.